Good morning, friends. I have a grocery haul to show you today, our first grocery haul for the month of April. This is a pretty actually small haul. I don't know, I look at the table and it looks like a lot of food actually. I think the main reason it looks like a lot is because we didn't have to buy meat because I only spent $150 on what I bought today. I'm also going to update you on what we spent for the month of March on groceries. So if you've been following along, um, every month I share a grocery haul and I share the total of what we spent on groceries the prior month. So for the month of March, we spent $1,350 right around that mark. So a little bit high. Now, one big reason for that is that we bought all of our chicken feed for the summer. So $300 worth of chicken feed. This feed will be enough to feed our chickens all summer long, the whole time that they're alive. We are picking up our chicks next week, actually, just a few days away. And so part of our April budget will be towards buying the chicks, which are less expensive than buying the feed, but we do have all that feed now ready for them. Um, we also, there's a farm close by us that sells bacon about this time of year, and they have fresh bacon, they sell it in these big old cases, and the bacon is loose, you have to, we buy it and we package it ourselves, but we tried to stock up on bacon this year to last us until this sale again, you know, next March. So we did buy, let me add that up in my head, 33 pounds of bacon. That's sitting in our freezer right now, minus a couple pounds that we've already eaten. But I'm gonna go ahead now and just show you what I picked up this morning. I'll also show you our meal plan for the week. Here is everything set out on the table. I did get three bags of milk, three dozen eggs. I have a couple different kinds of sandwich meat here two cartons of half and half cream, a couple boxes of cereal, digestive cookies, and some of these that I can't resist when they're on sale. These ones are so good, these dark chocolate ones. There's also back here, um, it's just another kind of dark chocolate fingers, I think they're called, finger cookies. Uh, those are really good, so when they're on sale, I get them. I also got cottage cheese, sour cream, a bunch of cans of tuna, some yogurt, two packages of tortillas, some almond milk. I got a couple of convenience items that I don't buy often, but they had their KD on sale. And, you know, we'll eat that once in a while. And some Mr. Noodles as well. Lots of paper towel. I got these chips. We haven't tried these kind, this kind before, but we do have taco salad quite regularly, and so this is the, the chips we're gonna try out next time I do taco salad. And for produce, I got this big bag of potatoes, lots of bananas. They had cantaloupe and honeydew on sale. Look at that, the size of that honeydew compared to the size of the cantaloupe. It's almost twice as big. I also had on my grocery order, Walmart had their honey crisp apples on, I think it was $1.50 a pound or something. I had like 20 apples in my cart and then they emailed me this morning and said, sorry, we're out. So I thought of going into the store and just picking up some other apples instead, but then I thought again, you know what? We have enough fruit for now, so we'll be fine. But I was looking forward to the, the Honeycrisp apples and such a good price on them too, which is I guess why they're gone. Peppers were on sale less than a dollar a pound. And it was perfect timing because I planned to make a stir fry tonight. So that works very well. Lots of orange peppers, yellow peppers, red peppers. Some tomatoes, just some, and sweetened coconut. We'll sometimes have this in our oatmeal or I regularly make granola and I put coconut in there. Also got a couple of cucumbers and <laughs> both of them. Oh, but especially this one. I have never seen a cucumber so tiny. Okay, I have, I, you can buy like mini cucumbers, but like an English cucumber, so tiny, you know, a dollar fifty worth of cucumber right there. And that's, see, it looks like quite a bit for 150 bucks, right? That's what happens when I'm not buying a whole bunch of meat. 
Here's our meal plan for this coming week. It's actually currently Friday right now. So that's what we're doing tonight. Tacos tomorrow. And then I have next week's meal plan all set out here. So we're doing cereal on Sunday and finger food for lunch. I have some whipping cream left in the fridge, not whipped up yet from last weekend. Last weekend was Easter. And so we had some whipping cream for our recipe and I still have some left. So we'll do that with our waffles and fruit toast. I'm going to make a sourdough cinnamon raisin bread here. I just wrote casserole. So I will just throw something together. Usually it's pasta and ground beef and diced tomatoes and cheese, sour cream, just create something there. Oatmeal, toast and eggs for lunch. And I'm going to do a bean and ham soup. I cooked up a ham again, just, just a week and a bit ago. And so what I do is I put the ham hock into the freezer with a bit of meat left on it. And then I'll pull that out of the freezer, cook it with this bean soup, and then take all the ham off. And it's a really yummy soup. Toast, and yes, you know, it's April. It's still very much soup weather <laughs> right now, today. There's snow in the air right now. I kind of can't stand it, but it is what it is. Uh, toast on Wednesday. I'll just plan to make a big batch of soup so we can have it left over the next day. Tuna melts on Wednesday night. And then we'll have some leftover waffles. I'm actually going to make a really big batch of waffles here. I want to do like a quadruple recipe probably because I want to freeze some. These sourdough waffles I make from farmhouseonboon.com uh, freeze really well. We just pop them in the toaster and they're so, they're so good. They're just, they taste as good as fresh. So I want to make a big batch. Here we'll do some just plain sourdough bread with meat and cheese. I'm going to cook up some pork chops or maybe barbecue pork chops actually. The weather is supposed to be getting a little bit nicer next week. So if that's the case, we'll barbecue those rice and carrots, um, some protein balls, bananas and yogurt or whatever. Like these breakfasts, I do get comments sometimes when I show my meal plan and people say, oh, as if you guys can just have toast for breakfast and that fills you up. Well, for one, we have like homemade sourdough bread, we put toppings on it and absolutely toast can fill us up. Like that's not a problem at all. But if I write down toast here, that's just kind of a basic, okay, toast. Um, we will often, almost always have fruit too. Sometimes we'll have yogurt, sometimes we'll have applesauce. Same thing with our lunches. Like I write down sourdough bread, meat and cheese. Absolutely, we're gonna have veggies here. We always have veggies with our lunch too. So just, you know, take it for what it is, but this just, it just gives us an idea each day. Okay, here's what we have, here's what we're gonna eat. And often there's extras, so same thing here. We'll see, maybe we'll actually do cantaloupe and honeydew here, I don't know. Finger food for lunch, again, that's a favorite of ours, we've got it twice. Uh, we're going to barbecue. <laughs> it will change the plans if it's not nice enough to barbecue, because definitely we wanna do steak on the barbecue on Friday night. That being said, Andrew will barbecue even if it's around freezing. It's really, if it's colder than that and really windy, then it's hard to kind of maintain a temperature on the barbecue. Um, but yeah, it should be just fine to barbecue that night. Steak, scalloped potatoes, and peas. I, like I said, it's Friday today. So next week, I'll probably do groceries again Friday or Saturday. And so that's why this is still left open. Thanks for watching. I've been trying to do these grocery hauls regularly, bi-weekly. So in two weeks, I should have another grocery haul up. And I will see you guys. I will be back though before two weeks from now. I'll be back on Wednesday. I'll be back on Friday. I post here Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You can count on a video from me. So subscribe if you want to catch all that new content. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.